In today's diecast review, we'll be comparing the 2019 and the 2020 Credit One card driven by Kyle Lar Wait, oh, is it Matt Kenseth? Is this a Kenseth diecast or a Larson diecast? Who freaking knows? Here is Kyle Larson's 2020 Credit One Bank Chevrolet Camaro. Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again, back with a Diecast review. And I tell you what, I need to say something very quick. Obviously, the, the incident that happened on iRacing with this driver, Kyle Larson, was absolutely unacceptable. It was disgusting, and it was wrong, okay? But what I will say, though, is that this is a diecast, and I love diecasts. I try to collect every single one of them that I can, and my goal is to review every 2020 diecast, and I feel like something would be incomplete if I don't review this car, so... Uh, I'm going to go go ahead and do the review. I'm just stating my opinion. What happened was wrong. It, it should have never happened. It was irresponsible, right? But on the bright side, guys, on the bright side, check this out. If you were to, for instance, just, just not look at that. This could be a Matt Kenseth car. So there is a pretty good positive to this review. Uh, so here it is, guys. This is uh, Matt Kenseth slash Kyle Larson's 2020 credit one. Uh, bank Chevrolet Camaro. Uh, this is a very, very similar paint scheme to last year, which we will have a side-by-side -side comparison on. Uh, stay tuned for that. This is, of course, you know, the 2020 Camaro. You know, in all honesty, guys, this is a very, very good-looking paint scheme. Like, for real, it's a really good-looking paint scheme. And I'm excited to see how it looks on the 2020 Camaro. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this 2020 Credit One Bank Kyle Larson Slash Matt Kenseth, Chip Ganassi Racing, Chevrolet Camaro, out of the box. Alrighty, folks, brand new out of the package. Here it is, guys, the 2020 Credit One Bank Kyle Larson Chevrolet Camaro. And I tell you what, out of all five of the paint schemes that came out in that Camaro haul, this easily is the best looking one. I'm sorry, the blue, the white, the, the, the outlining on the 42. I mean, it just looks freaking good. Uh, especially on this Camaro mode. So I'm, I'm actually very surprised the spoiler is painted blue. Uh, I figured that'd be painted uh, black because on the 2019, it is painted black. Of course, we'll be comparing both. But I will say, though, uh, the William Byron Hertz car, this thing has a super smooth clear coat. I mean, the sides feel so smooth. Nice. And over here to the nose of the car, you got uh, Credit One Bank. Once again, you got that Camaro nose. I tell you, man. It is very flat. This is all one piece. This is all one piece, guys. I, I I stripped one of these cars. This is literally just all one flat piece, pretty much. I mean, there's like a slight lip, but I can't tell you how small it is. I mean, my nail can't even really catch it. It's, it's just, it is virtually flat. Except for the corners, that's a little, because it's a wraparound, because what it does is it releases air. So when it punctures the air, it kind of wraps around and it releases it on the sides. So you got 42 here, we got the Chip Ganassi. Look at that teal and white. Oh, that is beautiful. And over here to the left side of the car, you got the American flag there. You got uh, Kyle Larson. Once again, this could be considered a Matt Kenseth car. Who knows if they're going to get, if they're going to get made. I mean, considering Kenseth's only missed four races, and uh, Lionel is going to need to make up for some serious lack of revenue. I would not be surprised one bit we get a Matt Kenseth car in this paint scheme. But it could very well not happen because, you know, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, so you got uh, Cessna, whatever that is, Advent Health, Clover. Uh, you got Credit One, American Ethanol. I got the 42 there. Uh, but you got Simeons. Uh, what is that? Sherwin Williams, NASCAR Cup Series, 3M Lincoln Welders, NASCAR Race Car. Got the Goodyear, Goodyear Eagles. And over here to the back end of the car, uh, something very interesting. So I noticed on the William Byrons, there was no one LE uh, sticker there. So apparently on the Kyle Larson joint, you got two. So you got Credit One Bank, 42, Camaro, ZL1, 1LE. That just sounds stupid. Why not just call it a Chevrolet Camaro and just be done with it? And then over here to the right side of the car. Now notice the whole side skirt, it doesn't have no wrap on it. It's just a straight up blue side skirt. This whole decal job right here, this thing was screwed up. You got that screwed up. The Goodyear joint's almost on the, the Credit One C. Uh, of course, you got your, you know, your name rail there. You got uh, your Credit One logo here. Nothing on the quarter panel here. That Interesting enough, nothing over here 
uh, left side of the numbers as well. And then over here to the roof of the car, you got the 42 without a uh, outlining because, of course, this is the Ganassi roof. You know, the doors, they got the, the, the trim line. But on the roof, it's just a very, I wouldn't say plain, just a very, you know, modest uh, 42. Got the uh, Credit One joint there over the roof flaps. Got the Kyle Larson name rail there. Nothing on the deck lid. Once again, guys, this could be a Matt Kenseth car. Who knows? Alrighty, folks. Moment of truth. Side-by-side uh, -side comparison time. So we're going to be comparing the 2019 Credit One Camaro and the 2020 Credit One Camaro for Kyle Larson. So, of course, this is a, uh, the 2019 slash 2018 mold here. This is the new 2020 Camaro mold. So, obviously, the spoiler is significantly smaller and the splitter is as well the nose is much flatter on the 2020 compared to the 2019 but here we go so uh you got to, of course you got your cup series logo missing on the 2019 you got that over here uh the the race car logo screwed up on this one uh probably the biggest difference this go around is in 2019 this had a satin finish and this one has a gloss finish I think the satin finish looks better, that's just me, but I think both of them look good, to be honest with you. Off camera, they're very, very similar, if not the same shade of blue. They probably are the uh, same shade of blue, it's just a clear coat that is uh, slightly different. Uh, the name rail is significantly bigger on the 2020 compared to the 2019 there. Uh, the roof rails itself don't have any uh, outlining on it, like uh, the, the roof rails on the 2019 have outlining, but the 2020 doesn't. Uh, McDonald's is missing from the B post compared to this one as well as Coca-Cola. Got Credit One Bank there. Of course, DC Solar, which was, you know, supposed to be a part of the 2019, uh, you know, Chip Ganassi program. But guess what? They they dipped. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, of course, in 2020, you don't see that logo there. Uh, you do see some small uh, little contingencies here. Not present on this side, but they did get moved up a little bit over here. Now, why couldn't they just make these things as big as the 3M logo and put them here? Beats me, but I guess they wanted to be special and they moved them up. However, these do have a blue instead of just a white uh, text, which looks pretty good. Uh, obviously, a gigantic difference here with the, the front contingencies. I mean, wow, you got K&N on the 2019, no K&N here. You had a whole bunch of uh, little contingencies on the quarter panel. Nothing there on the 2020. Back in the car, I mean, just check out that freaking spoiler, guys. The spoiler is it, so small on the 2019, but the 2020, I tell you, it is a proper stock car spoiler. Uh, so they finally got that fixed. I will say the, the Credit One logo is very, um, it's very transparent. You can see, like, the blue leaking through, but on the 2019, not so much. It definitely has uh, its, you know, it has its ducks in a row. Uh, the card on the 2020 doesn't have the American pattern, which is... I mean, I don't know. I wish it would still kept that. Uh, but this one's more of a plain Jane, you know, modern look. Obviously, you had the ZL1 decal in 2019, but you don't have the 1LE that is present on the 2020 Camaro. And then over here to the right side of the car, you know, pretty much the same stuff. Of course, the uh, the side skirts is just painted. No decals on it for the 2019. But, you know, I just feel like this car looks so plain without having a quarter panel sponsor. I mean, I, couldn't they just get Gear Wrench or someone? Just someone to be in the quarter panel? And then over here to the nose of the car, I mean, you could see the 2019 Camaro headlights were the hardest decal probably to ever wrap on a stock car 164. Uh... <laughs> Ask any custom maker. It's they'll, they'll tell you. I'll be honest. They'll tell you. Uh, so you got the 42 here, 42 there. It's a little bit more uh, modern, and a little bit more sharp on the 2020 compared to this one. Obviously, the quarter panel uh, contingencies they they dipped. Uh, you still got your Ganassi logo there. Uh, this one's got a kick in on the nose, but this one's all hunky dory. And then over here to the roof of the car, I mean, obviously, the, the texture of the clear coat is such a huge difference. I mean, the 2019 looks a little bit more, I wouldn't say pale, but it's definitely not as uh, deep of a blue. But that's because of the satin clear coat, but the gloss really brings out the blue. And of course, over here on the, uh, the deck lid, no sponsor there. Alrighty, folks, thank y'all so much for watching this review. Let me know what y'all think about this 2020 Kenseth slash Larson <laughs> Credit One Camaro. I think this is a very cool looking race car. I mean, the paint scheme wise, it just looks fantastic, man. You know, the, the, the Austin Dillon, the, the Tyler Reddick, all that jazz. 
Every day this week, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll have a diecast review. I'm going to be reviewing all of the latest releases, and I have a bunch of old school diecasts I'm going to be reviewing as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. Some other diecast reviews I'm going to be uploading. Heck, I even got a freaking IndyCar one I'm going to be uploading soon. So uh, a lot of cool things happening in the month of May on Diecast Buffet. Of course, tomorrow's my birthday, so uh, stay tuned for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're having a great one, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Diecast Buffet. Signing off.